Hi everyone, welcome to our second lecture. In this lecture, we will dive into this bias variance trade-off topic. This is an important topic in machine learning. Bias and variance have a great impact on overall model performance. We will look at this bias and variance terms, and we will make a decomposition of our errors in terms of these terms. Then we will get some generalizations of this idea. We will try to see what happens when we have a randomized process and also have an assemble of models. After that, we will introduce a new algorithm called extra trees. This algorithm will use some randomized processes and it will also use an ensemble model. After that, we will look at the sklearn library and we will learn how to apply this using this library. And after that, we'll conclude this lecture. Let's first make a quick rundown of our previous lecture. In our previous lecture, we made a bunch of definitions. So these two were some of those. We had these tree-based methods, which are some simple tree-based machine learning algorithms to make some type of predictions such as classifications or regressions. We also had these assembling techniques, which are some special techniques to combine several of these machine learning models into a single one to make the same type of predictions. Then we learned how to build large decision trees. We used some examples. Here is one of them. In this example, we had these numerical features and we had this uh, target uh, as a categorical variable class 1 or class 2. Let's take a look at the plot of the data set. Orange data points are from class 1 and the blue data points are from class 2. Then we fit a simple decision tree on this. So let's remember this process one more time. When we are building our tree, we are asking multiple questions. And with each question, we will split our data points into two subsets, yes and no. And then in each of these subsets, we will look at the class distributions. So let's take a look at this visual here. Here's our first question, x2 less than or equal to 5. So we have this straight line here. And we have two subsets, yes and no. Let's look at class distributions, starting with the no. As you see, all data points belong to class 2 here. We'll call this a leaf node. So here is our leaf node. Let's look at the other one. Here we see a single data point from class 2 and the rest is from class 1. It means that we need to ask some more questions here. Here's our second question. With this question, the same story goes on. We will split the data points into yes and no subsets. Let's look at the class distributions. Yes subset has a pure result here. So with that, we will call this a leaf node. And the other one is still mixed, as you see. So let's ask one more question on the other one. And with this question, this time, we can split these data points into the correct classes. And this is how we build a simple decision tree. Let's also remember the formal algorithm behind this. We call this algorithm CART. With this algorithm, we will loop over every feature j, and then we will split every value it takes, x, i, j. So we will split over all data points. Then uh, we will split the data set into two parts, left and right. We will call xl, yl as data points for the left child node xr, yr as data points for the right child node. And we will have these conditions for these splits. Let's also let them have sizes nl and nr respectively. Then we will keep track of the split that maximizes our average decrease in impurity or that maximizes the information gain. Let's take a look at that. We calculate that. Uh, with the impurity before the split minus impurity after the split. Impurity before the split is simply the impurity at the parent node. And the impurity after the split is the weighted sum of the impurities on the left and right child nodes. And we will be looking for the split that maximizes this value. Then we will recursively pass the left and right data sets to these child nodes and the process just goes on. If we hit some stopping criteria, we need to decide what to return at that point. For the regression problems, we'll take the average. And for the classification problems, we'll just take the most common class. We also define our impurities. For regression, we can use variance or mean absolute error. For classification, we can use entropy or g. As a last topic, we also looked at this overfitting problem. 
We said that we can control the complexity of our models and in return this will help with the overfitting problem. We saw, we saw that we can for example set the maximum depth of our tree. When this is a small number we will have a simple tree and we will be less likely overfitting. Here's some visuals for that. As you see as we keep increasing our maximum depth our tree gets more complex and it can overfit easier. This allowed us to avoid overfitting at the cost of oversimplicity of the prediction. Because as you see, these are really simple trees and they're actually just a bunch of step functions. In this lecture, we will see another way to control overfitting. This time we will dive deeper into bias variance trade-off.